Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, let's discuss about introduction to Python. Now, Python is one of the most uh, popular programming language which is being used in recent times. You know, if you are someone who are new to the programming world and if you if you are, if you want to learn any programming language, and uh, you know, I would suggest you to go with Python because Python would be the you know. Uh, First and foremost, it is very easy to learn. So that's one of the main reason why a lot of programmers uh, or newcomers choose Python these days. Okay, so let's uh, let's discuss about you know few important things about Python. Why you, why do you want to go to Python? And what are its advantages? Uh, you know where and all is Python used? So those kind of things we will discuss over here. So this very first video will be more of a theoretical video. Come on, let's let's jump on. Okay, so First of all, what is Python? Okay, Python is a general purpose, dynamic and interpreted programming language. So what, what do I mean by dynamic? So when I say dynamic, uh, you know, uh, if you compare it with other programming languages like Java, C, C++, those are statically typed programming language, whereas Python is dynamically typed. So what, what do I mean by this statement is, so for example, if you if you want to declare a variable in Java or C or C++, generally what you do is like you mention its data type like int uh, a var number, string uh, st string value. So similar, but whereas in Python, uh, you do not need to declare those uh, you know, data types here. So you can directly pass it here. Uh, we can if if you just pass a value or a number five a equal to five. It would, it would take it will understand it as an integer if you pass within double quotes it will understand it as a string so uh, you, you do not need to explicitly add any uh, data types here so so the uh, similarly you have a lot of other features uh, so that's why python is called dynamic <coughs> and uh, what do i mean by interpreted programming language interpreted is nothing but um, uh, again, uh, when I take uh, it with uh, when I take a comparison with Java, uh, you first uh, whenever you try to run a Java program, you first compile it and then you run it. Okay, so uh, first you issue a command Java C and you compile the program. If there are any compilation issues, you fix it and then you run it. Um, whereas uh, in 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 Python, you uh, you know there is no compiling step at all. So interpreter uh, does all the job for you. So it will directly, uh, um, you know, it will directly read the program in the form of bits and bytes, and uh, there are few internal operations which are, which is done by interpreter, and you can run the program directly okay, with the help of an interpreter. So that's why we call Python as an interpreted programming language, right? So uh, touching upon another one of the more main reason why Python was actually introduced is you now Python was. Uh, uh, no, other programming languages, uh, you know, it was quite uh, difficult to understand for beginners, and uh, Python was, uh, you know, uh, introduced, uh, you know, mainly uh, because of its because of its simplicity, and uh, it, there was quite a few emphasis on code readability, uh, so and its syntax allowed programmers to express express their concept in fewer lines of code. So uh, probably you will get a deep understanding of this statement in our future slides and in our upcoming videos. Um, so probably I will jump on to my next slide. <coughs> so where is Python used? Uh, Python is, uh, you know, it's it's used across various industries and various uh, you know, areas. But I've, I've listed down few key areas that I think everyone should know. So first area is web development. Obviously, uh, the modern world web development has become more famous and you, know, if you have inbuilt uh, you know, frameworks like Django, Flask which is actually which will actually help you to do some web development activities. Similarly, soft, traditional software development also you can do with Python. And uh, mathematics, yeah, obviously uh, uh, Python actually uh, this uh, came from mathematics only. So uh, the uh, advanced mathematical stuffs can be done using Python. So that's another area and handling big data. So what do we mean by big data is currently we have a um, trendy technology called big data where humongous amount of data is handled. So, so in those kind of areas, Python is widely used. 
um, and finally a artificial intelligence and machine learning yeah once um, you know in recent times ai and machine learning has been very very popular and one of the main reasons uh, um, uh, you know everyone want to you know work with ai and machine learning is uh, with python so you can you can use any other languages with for working with AI and machine learning, where else Python is one of the most uh, uh, user-friendly uh, because it has a lot of uh, you know, inbuilt libraries which helps in AI and machine learning development. So that's one of the area where Python is most widely used. Right. <clears throat> Moving on, why Python? Okay. Why not, Why do we need to choose Python over other programming languages? Is what I I listed down in this slide. So one main reason is it is platform independent. Obviously, you can use it in any any operating systems like Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. And second one is simple. Okay, uh, I already touched upon this. Uh, Python Python has a syntax which allows developers to write programs in fewer lines of code. For example, if you write you know seven to eight lines of code in Java, you can easily write that uh, concept in you know three to four lines in uh, Python. So. Python is more of a developer friendly. So <clears throat> one of the most reason why people choose Python over other programming languages due to its simplicity. Okay. Um, and next one is um, you know Python runs on an inter. I already spoke that uh, you know Python is an interpreted programming language, right? So Python runs on an interpreted system, meaning the code can be executed as soon as it runs. So as soon as I write a code, I can directly execute it for example print hello i just hit on a button the program runs as soon as it runs there's no compilation steps here right um so <clears throat> and next one is object oriented obviously in the traditional uh, software development problem uh, process um everything is developed in the form of objects so obviously object oriented is something very very really necessary for modern software development so yeah, so Python supports object-oriented programming as well. And Python is robust. So what do we mean by robust is, uh, so uh, you know, in general terms, a, a person is called robust if he is, you know, if he's physically strong or you know, mentally strong, healthy. So that's why, that's when you call a person robust. But whereas in, in programming language concept, you know, uh, it can handle terminations and exceptions, unhandled exceptions, you know, unexpected terminations um, you know, very easily so this concept of exception handling you know whenever your software or pro process is running if it, if it terminates in in between if it uh, you know unexpectedly you know un something unexpected occurred so those kind of situations uh, you know uh, your um, your programming language needs to be robust okay so in, so that's why we call Python a robust programming language because Python can handle all these kind of unexpected actions, you know, very, very fast. And next is rich library support. One of the main reasons why Python has become more popular in the recent times is because of its, you know, why it has quite a lot of libraries, which, um, you know, which readily used library, which can be readily used in, in, in any software development process. Um, so that's one of the main reason Python has become very popular. So we'll we'll see uh, you know about uh, libraries in, in our future videos and tutorials. So don't worry about that. And obviously it is an open source and it's it has wider community and <clears throat> and open forums are readily available. So yeah, obviously one of the main reason why Python is used. And embeddable, it can be easily embed, uh, embedded with other programming languages. For example, if you want to integrate it with Java, you know, there are uh, there's something called Jython. So there are like, uh, you know, I just quoted an example. Similarly, if you want to integrate it with any other programming language, it is easily embeddable. All right. Um, so moving on, okay, let's try to understand few advantages of Python. Okay. I already touched upon few areas, but just since since I wanted people to understand what are advantages, I just put it in a separate slide. So let's look at it one by one. So first is it is an open source and readily available for use. Yeah, we already touched about this, and it's uh, so I'm gonna skip this point. Um, and again, it is really easy to learn and explore. 
third party modules can be easily integrated so what is this is when i say third party module so you you if you have got a lot of inbuilt modules like time module os module so these are uh, what we call as modules similarly if you want to integrate any third party module it can be easily integrated for example if you want to work with json you can you know you can you can import a json module if you want to work with zip files you can in, uh, you can you know in, in integrate the zip file so so there are a lot of modules which can be easily integrated um, in python and it's a high level object programming language we already spoke about it it is very interactive and portable so when i said simple simplicity um, you know it's it's very interactive as well uh, and you know python uh, you know uh, once you start writing python codes you, you you will understand why it is actually more readable and interactive because uh, you know everything works in the form of indentation so <clears throat> all your block of code will be properly intended only then your actual program will actually run so that's so whenever you write a programming program in a very you know um, what is it, structural fashion it is more interactive and portable obviously you can uh, it can be easily ported from you know, one device to device or one platform to platform uh, even to any cloud platforms okay and um, next one is application can be run on any platform where we already spoke it was platform independent and the next one is it has great online support and community forums yeah if you have any queries about uh, anything in python you, you have online support and community forums where if you post a query it will be readily answered and it will be uh, readily available for you next one it is user it has a user friendly data structure yes so um, data structure is one of the most important part of your programming language uh, so so when it comes to python it has very user friendly data structure like you can easily work with all common data structures like stack queue etc etc um, so it, it so it, it is very, it has a very user friendly data structure okay next is i already touched upon you know it's it's, it's extended support of libraries you obviously you have quite a lot of libraries in python you know if for example if you want to work with uh, numbers or numerical in python then you have a library called numpy um, if you want to work with um, you know uh, natural language processing you have nltk so uh, so there are quite a lot of libraries uh, probably we will have a separate session about what are the uh, most popular libraries that that is available in python next main important is it improves programmer productivity um, yeah obviously whenever uh, when your code is simple and it is easy to understand um, as a programmer i can i can improve my productivity so that's what i mean in this kind of thing right so these are a few of the advantages of python next one is let's see about uh, disadvantages yes obviously when you learn about advantages you should understand what are the disadvantages of python so uh, any any programming language has its own pros and cons so let's understand what are the you know, common disadvantages uh, in, in python first is it is weak in mobile computing okay so if you are someone who are working in the field of mobile um, so I'm sorry that Python is uh, not much used with the mobile computing area. So that's one of the area where uh, Python needs to improve quite a lot <clears throat> and get slow in speed. So I, I really want to touch upon this point because a lot of people are under misconception that Python actually runs faster than Java and other programming language. But the actual fact is it is it is slow when you compare it with Java or C or C++. Um, but uh, uh, why, why is uh, Python much popular? You know, even when it is slow in speed, is because you know, there are a lot of other factors uh, which which influence you to uh, you which influence you to use you to be used for software development, right? So uh, not only speed. For example, from an end user perspective, you know, zero point one uh, second or zero point zero zero one millisecond doesn't matter. Okay, from a uh, from a so but it matters when you actually work with humongous amount of data but on most of the areas it, it hardly really matters so that's one of the main reason i know 
with this point is not considered uh, you know much when from a business angle from a business angle everything works in the same but but yeah whenever you work with humongous amount of data python gets really slow um, but i am seeing uh, you know in the in the recent python language summit its founder van rusum actually said they are actually trying to improve the speed of the python uh, in its in its uh, version which is about to be i think it it will be python python version 3.11 um so they are planning to release it um uh, somewhere in october 2022 so i'm eagerly waiting for that uh, version update so let's see how python has improved its uh, speed okay so so that's something and the runtime errors yes um uh, there's no compilation step here so whenever uh, you run a program you get a runtime error so you have to actually run the program and then fix it where else in java until you compile it if there are any errors you fix it there so that's one of the major uh, disadvantages over here and finally we have 100 develop db layers okay so python has the ability to connect with databases okay so uh, we uh, probably i need to clarify you know put a statement very clearly here when when i say under developed db layers uh, it, it doesn't mean that we can't connect to the databases and all python with the help of python you can actually connect to databases any kind of databases like you know sql server or um teradata oracle any kind of db you can easily connect but it doesn't have any much uh, richer uh, on, uh, richer usage to work with databases uh, okay where else uh, in, in other programming languages you have wider and wider and richer uh, functionalities to be worked with databases so that is one of the area i think uh, python is still lagging and probably need more improve on it improvement on it as well so uh, so that's all about disadvantages of python okay so that's all what i have as part of this introductory tutorial um, i hope everyone understood about the introduction to python in case if you have any queries uh, please post it into the comment section thank you